Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Richman at Community Memorial Hospital here in Ventura talking about uh, post-spinal dural puncture headaches or a spinal headache. Uh, you probably have heard about this. Um, in the old days, about 5 or 10 percent of moms who had C-sections had a headache after they uh, delivered the baby and went to their floor. Uh, spinal headache is caused by, what we think is caused, is a hole in the dura that the, um, the spinal fluid is lost with the, well within the back tissues and when you sit up or stand up the balloon of the meninges, the spinal fluid covering the brain, kind of since there's less fluid from the spinal fluid being lost deep in the tissues of the back that the brain covering kind of squishes on the brain causing a headache. A spinal headache is one, uh, we also call it a postural headache, is that uh, you sit up or stand up and it's a horrible pounding headache behind the eyes, on top of the head, in the back of the head, that pretty much goes away if you lie down. If you've had a c-section or an epidural where we may tell you you had a wet tap with the epidural, um, then um, tell the nurse in postpartum or call the doctor if it occurs when you go home that you have a headache that you're not sure from what and your doctor, your obstetrician will evaluate you. Um, if you're in the hospital or even if you come in to uh, the emergency room, the anesthesiologist will see you to see if indeed it's a postural um, component headache. And once again, if it goes away when you lie down, that's a good sign that it's a post-spinal puncture, dural puncture headache. And what we do with that is we tell you to lie down more. But you can't have a new baby at home and lie down all the time. So there are a few things we can do to treat it. Primarily, we want you to make more spinal fluid um, by drinking fluids. Fluids with caffeine tend to increase the spinal fluid production. Coke, Dr. Pepper, coffee, tea, and uh, pain pills uh, to see if that takes away most of the headache. If the headache is the worst headache of your life and it goes away when you lie down, don't even bother doing that. Uh, just tell your doctor what I just described and he'll have you come to the hospital or in the hospital have the anesthesiologist see you. In that case, that kind of a headache, we want to do what's called a blood patch. We want to take a epidural needle and take some of your blood and put it over the dural hole, the puncture and the covering of the spinal fluid, and kind of patch that little hole with your own blood. It congeals, coagulates, and causes a patch, or like a band-aid, if you will, decreasing the loss of spinal fluid. So if you do have that kind of a headache after a C-section or an epidural, tell your nurse, she'll tell your doctor, and he or she will have anesthesia to evaluate you. Or if you come into our emergency room with a classic headache like that, expect to have that. We will see you and then do a blood patch. A blood patch is the same as an epidural, but we take blood from your arm and then inject it in the epidural space, and then it's over. Headache should go away within a few minutes, and you should be able to go home within half an hour to an hour after the blood patch is performed. MedTwice.com